Hey everyone, it's Chef Kendra again with Drizzle Kitchen for some more happy recipes coming your way. Today we're doing one for Thanksgiving. I really want to show people one of my like work horses in the kitchen and it is a compound butter. It's so easy to make. You can do it ahead of time, you can freeze it, and you can actually make a huge batch. So use what you need for Thanksgiving and then save the rest for a delicious roasted chicken later in the week. So let's get started. Also the beautiful thing about a compound butter is that you can put in whatever you want and it's easy to make. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it by hand with a fork and a trusty bowl. There's another way you can do it also with a food processor, one of my favorite things in the kitchen. So whichever way you do, you'll end up with the same product. It is delicious. It is easy, it'll make your life easier, and it will flavor everything you put it in. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make one with some garlic, and I'm gonna do this by hand. So I'm actually gonna use a microplane um, to grate the garlic in there so they're in real nice tiny pieces. No need to necessarily use your knife. Uh, we have some softened butter. It's great if you cut it in the squares because it softens a lot faster. It's also easier to mash it by hand than using just a giant stick and some beautiful herbs. So here we have some rosemary, thyme, and parsley. If you want to add a shallot in there, you can do that. If you want to add some lemon zest or orange zest, whatever kind of flavor you like, sage leaves are great. Whatever flavor you want in your compound butter, use the herbs for that. And it's a really great way also, if you have herbs that are going bad in your fridge, make a compound butter. No need to have a holiday to make it. All right, so I have my two containers of the beautiful compound butter. This one, I'm actually gonna pop in the freezer and save for a rainy day. You can slice it straight from the freezer and put a pat on some seared steak or grilled chicken. Uh, you can saute vegetables in it to add some extra easy flavor. And then of course, if you're gonna roast a chicken, you do it, use it the same way that you would use it with turkey. And then this one, I'm actually gonna wrap up and just put in the refrigerator because we only have a few more days to Thanksgiving and I'm gonna use this one for my Thanksgiving turkey. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel here for more delicious recipes to inspire you to create your own happy foods. <laughs> 